everybody, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Uh, you know I do greatly appreciate that. So i uh, got a fantastic morning shave. I am literally 15 minutes out of the shower. So I uh, actually got the day off today, which is fantastic. So um, back from the Keys just a few days ago and I was kind of still feeling Keys-ish. So uh, I figured, man, let's crack out this bad boy today and uh, let's continue the hiatus uh, with a nice little pina colada scent. Uh, we'll get to this in a second. So you know what we like to do here? We're going to do the one passer, uh, do the sides, leave the goatee, and then we are out the door. And this will be a nice way to start my day. I've got some stuff i got to take care of. So uh, looking forward to getting this beautiful shave in and then venturing out. Tools of the trade, as we do. So we are going to take this little shave and we're going to start it off with this 1950s. Uh, this is a monotech. It's a Brazilian monotech, also known as the Brazilian uh, aristocrat. And this is a, a peach of a little guy. I love it. You know, keep, keep the theme going. Tropical Brazil. I mean, you know, kind of they kind of do uh, work together. Um, beautiful revamping done by Razor Emporium. As you know, that's the only place that I go to get these and to have these serviced. Uh, so fantastic. This guy's a great little shaver. I haven't used it in a hot minute. So uh, seeing him sitting over here and I was just like, perfect day for it. Uh, we will utilize the beautiful Balzano in there and we'll torque this one down. And this one really is, it's, it, it's quite a peach. So uh, fantastic. And of course we get that little blade overplay here. You can see, you get just, just a tad over there. Um, so again, this is no big deal. It's never impeded on any of my shaves. Uh, so, so no issues there whatsoever. And there's your Balzano shot. Boom, boom. Take that and uh, brush for today. Kind of like the color scheme on this one. So um, we are going to go with the Pantaray. Uh, and this is their Venice brush. But I do like the guy in the gondola with the nice blue water kind of happening there. So uh, these are fantastic. Pantaray does such a wonderful, wonderful job. Uh, this is a beautiful silver tip badger. And uh, again, haven't used this in a hot minute, so was happy to utilize that as well. Gonna switch the bowl up. Gonna, ooh, that sucker is hot. So we're gonna go to the Beau Brumel and uh, get that beautiful marble with the heat retention. And I mean, this thing is actually hot to the touch. I love that when you put the soap in here and you hit the face with it, it's just a thing of beauty. So let me keep that guy kind of staying nice and warm down yonder. All right, boom, 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 boom. Soap of the day. So hiatus by Holy Caw. Uh, big, big fan of this company. This is this is really one of those artisans that uh, I really do enjoy. Uh, I just find it to be such a premium shave soap. Every time I, I get one of theirs, I'm always kind of just blown away. It, it's so premium for, for the price and I, I love the ingredients. And I, I, so far, this will be number three, and they've all been fantastic. So I hope this rounds out the trifecta and gives me another gorgeous uh, feeling and shave. So hiatus, as you can see here. So uh, clearly, you've got your pina colada chilling there, beachside. And that is truly the scent coming off the puck. The ingredients in here are killer. you got donkey milk, shea butter, kokum butter. Uh, cacao butter, and then you've got creme fraiche, and then glycerin kind of rounds it out to help provide the glide and so forth. So really, really nice ingredients. You know, I mean, honestly, the donkey milk and the creme fraiche just, you know, scream out to me. So beautiful label, gorgeous artwork, uh, very straightforward, kind of gives you all the details on the back here and so forth, but clean tub on the sides. This I purchased directly it was $19.99. This is the tallow base, obviously. They also do have a vegan base. I think that one's like $22.99, so a little bit difference in the price there. Standard four ounce tub. Okay, let's get to the scent profile, which the scent is, is absolutely bonkers. It's beautiful, but it is pina colada personified. So it's truly, oh man, it, it's got a really nice sweetness to it. And, uh, so you definitely get the pineapple. That's the first one running out the door. So the first first scent running at you. You get that beautiful pineapple and the coconuts right behind it. Oh, so wonderful. And then you get just the coolest splash of the rum. 
but just ever so lightly. And I think that's what's adding more of the even more sweetness to it. Very, very cool. It's just, it's just smells delicious. And look at that pour. That a beautiful color. So fantastic. Uh, do, do love what we got going on right off the puck. I was just like, wow, man, that's, you know, pina colada. All right. The jib and the jab are done. Let's get some of this into this bowl. And, oh, uh, yeah, beautiful. So it, their, their pucks are always kind of the same. So it's it's nice. It's a puck, and then you get a beautiful, creamy texture. The minute you start just kind of touching it, playing with it, it's just kind of, you know, becomes instantly pliable. So it's, it's really wonderful. And then I love how you, when you dig through, you get that kind of second tone on the color there. Very, very cool. Also, why I thought it would look really awesome in this bowl um, is, you know, the, the, the play on the color. So, unlike the honeycomb, this guy you actually have to work into the sides here. That honeycomb bowl that I always use, that thing just grabs the soap right off your hand. It's like a greedy little bowl. All right, let's see here. You work this in. But this is, uh, yeah, I kind of woke up feeling uh, like, man, you know, even though I'm still in Florida, but still the keys is a whole different, it just gives you a whole different vibe. So I figured, hey, man, day off, let's, let's continue the vibe. All right, I think that's pretty good. I got it kind of mashed around in there, so you can see. So it's a decent amount. So, oh, man, that's a, that's a really cool smell. I mean, if you like pina coladas, you'll love this soap. And if you like getting caught in the rain. Okay, let's do it. I am going to ditch these. You have everything you need. As far as the pertinent information goes, let me wet the face. Ah, right, all right, all right. Let me get a little bit of water on this pantare. That's the one thing with the marble. Get a lot of that clickety clackety. I will try to keep it to a minimum. Oh wow, man! <laughs> it's really uh, it's kicking right up. So let me get some more water in here. And we'll get this guy working. And you know how we do? We'll do some in the bowl and go, you know, to the face and get it kind of worked up the rest from there, but just like to get it started in here. And, you know, this brush is also kind of a bit of a soap hog and, you know, always good to know your brushes and how they perform and, you know, you probably already do. And if not, you, you'll certainly know if, know if as time goes on, but this guy loves to eat it up. You can see. So it's a thing of beauty though. Uh, Alessandro over at Pantera is just guys. So cool, man. He's, all handcrafted, just beautiful. So, all right, let's, uh, let me give you a little shot here of what we got. Look at that, beautiful, every time. I mean, that's just, that's just gorgeous. So, I think we're pretty good there. We could add water and whatnot as we go along. Ah, oh, it's a wonderful smell. It really is just a beautiful, sweet pina colada. I, I mean, that's, oh, just really, that's, that, it is what it is. This one's not, uh, I, I don't want to say it's not complex because it's a beautiful pina colada. So that's not just so easy to replicate. Um, so I certainly don't want to take away anything from the skill set. Um, it's just with Holy Caught, I've learned to expect that when they say, hey, it's this, it's like spot on. Uh, he is truly masterful with the sense. Oh, this is wonderful. And the heat came right out right out of me if you've never used a marble bowl man you should really try it you can get these right on amazon it is something completely different it really is no other bowl that I ever had has ever done that uh so you can see this texture already uh really fantastic and i'm only running a couple of days growth so uh not too much here so i don't need to agitate too much here or or overwork the face um this is beautiful though oh god that smells nice 
Oh man, take me back to the keys. Uh, beautiful. This is a really uh, killer classic summertime scent. I mean, no doubt about it. This is a really, really nice one. And look at that. I mean, here's that donkey milk and that creme fraiche. This is a beautiful feeling. So uh, this kind of transcends the, the luxurious and moves into the decadent spot because it is just gorgeous, man. Oh, I mean, I don't want to get too close on you and be right in your grill, but it is every bit of wonderful that you would expect from this company. Oh my gosh. And again, I could do this all day. That's a, it's one of the best parts of the shave for me, right here. Just this beautiful painter brush spackling on just this decadent, gorgeous lather. Boom, done. Look, really, really wonderful, wonderful. And this, I could actually see remnants of the soap still in the bowl. So clearly I could have worked the heck out of this thing. But again, I find the spot that I like and I call it a day. That's, that's the way you roll. And I would hope you do the same and enjoy your shave. Okay. All right, 1950 Brazil. So cool, this little guy made in Brazil. Gillette, the history of Gillette, is, it still captivates me. I'm still uncovering more and more with their razors and such. Uh, so this little guy's fantastic. So let's have at it. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Look at that. And always wonderful residual, no issues whatsoever. Wow, really nice and clean, boy. Wowzer. Fantastic. Like I said, I didn't have too much going on today, but a couple of days, you know what I mean? So this, you know, it was definitely a shave was needed. Oh, it's nice. Oh, that smell. <laughs> it's a nice smell. It really is. I mean, straight up, if you like pina colada, I mean, you're really going to be, you'll, you'll be thrilled. There's no mistaking it. It doesn't come off as anything else. It is, boom, pina colada personified. Oh, very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. A nice audio coming off here as well. And uh, yeah, holy cow, I mean, you know, I really, I, I, I can't say enough nice things about that company. I, I think it's fantastic. Um, I did have the pleasure to speaking with the gentleman one time and um, it was a great conversation. And I, I think I expressed that in one of my other videos, how truly, you know, uh, thoughtfully is and how much concern goes into uh, what we as end users feel and experience. And again, to put these types of ingredients into this soap for $19.99, I, I just think is so cool. But we are living in a time where we have really amazing artisans. I just so good under the nose there. And I'll move some soap around, see if we got any left over on the neck. There we go. Let's see what we got. But wow, pretty clean. Fantastic. Oh my God. <laughs> It went right past me, and I was just like, holy cow, that's so cool. Holy cow. That's really wonderful. Oh, it's nice. Wow, man. All right, I have pretty, pretty done, a bunch done here. I mean, I don't have much residual, just a little bit here. There we go. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, done. All right, all right. Let's get the towel, especially Lancaster Razor Works. You guys know I love this towel. Ah, oh, yeesh, that feels good. Oh my goodness.
Wow, that's such a cool smell. That's so nice. That's a nice smell to take with you for the day. And it's very, just a really cool, exotic pina colada. So it's not like a heavy, boozy, you know, it's a very nice, beautiful, sweet smell. Oh, that's wonderful. Wow. Oh, that's really, really good. All right, let's get the soap shot. I love the, the color on it. It's kind of a little bit of like an off-white uh, due to the basic color of that soap. <sighs> Look at that. Oh, man. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Look how creamy that is. Holy mackerel. Now you know what I was experiencing when I said I could sit here and do that all day. Hey, that, that, that's decadent. I mean, that's, that's a wonderful texture. I mean, look at that. Oh, my gosh. That's just, oh, it's heavenly. Heaven. Really, very wonderful. Uh, what a nice, wonderful, quick uh, shave. I, I, I love when they go off like this. Everything just kind of falls into play. Nice and simple. Uh, let me get all this off my hands. So there you have it, folks. Ladies, gents, nice, easy one passer. Great way to start the day. Uh, razor did great. Soap's fantastic. Beautiful scent. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by and watching. As always, greatly appreciated. One and done, done and dusted. Catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody.